Take your Bible, turn to Deuteronomy chapter 7. Deuteronomy chapter 7. Up on the screen, I have the, the title of the message, The Love of God. There is a verse in 1 John chapter 4, and I have that up on the screen. It says, God is love. God is love. Now, I believe that, and I spent a long time trying to comprehend that and, and its deepest meaning in my mind, and I never, I don't think I ever attained to it. I don't think I get it. Where it says, God is love. Now, there's no exaggerations in your Bible. God does not have to stretch a story out. God does not have to um, tell great myths and fables to capture our attention. And if God says something is, is something, then it is exactly what God said it is. God is love. Amen? But what does that mean? I, it's bigger than my head is able to comprehend. So I was had this on my mind to preach it. And I started getting the verses together. Well, I thought, boy, that's good. That, that'll work. And that'll, boy, that'll preach. And then it just dawned on me trying to understand the full aspect of this. I don't, I don't think I ever will, this side of heaven. But let me just share with you. I'm going to let the Word of God preach the message this morning. And I'm just going to read Bible verses to you. And maybe throw in a little comment or two. And then you take this home, you ponder it, you think about it for a while, and, and uh, ask God what that means to you, alright? So I, now, you, I mean, well, had you sing the song, Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to Him belong, they are weak, but He is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, for the Bible tells me so. So, can we truthfully tell our children that... God is love and that Jesus loves them. Can we tell them that? Okay. Do we know for a fact that God loves us? Now, here's what I'm going to ask you. Have you ever had somebody that loved you one day and turned away from you the next? That's tough, isn't it? Let me put it, let me get a little deeper. Have you ever loved somebody at one point in life and then turned your back on them and said, stay away from those people? It happens. You see, in our sinful nature, we are capable of not loving certain people. But you need to remember something. God is not a man. God is not us. And God, if He says that He loves the world, what that means is, God so loved the world. I can't say it any better than John 3.16 says it. Can't say it any better. And love uh, is defined in a certain way in your Bible. And I want you to comprehend that. How God views love. Alright? Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. God said, For thou art an holy people... Unto the Lord thy God. He's talking to Israel. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are on the face of the earth. The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because ye were more in number than any people. For you were the fewest of all people. Verse 8 answers the question, why did, God, why did God set His love upon His people? Verse 8 answers the question, because He loves them. Now, I want you to ponder that. It'd be like, it'd be like if your child or your grandchild comes, crawls up in your lap and says, Hey, Mom, do you love me? Well, yes, I love you. Well, why do you love me? Because I love you. 
Now that may sound silly, but look at your Bible. The Lord did not set His love upon you nor choose you because you were more number, number, but because the Lord loved you. Why did God love us? Because He loved us. It's a self-answering question. And again, the thought of that is way higher than my mind is able to comprehend, but I just believe it. Now watch this. But because the Lord loved you, and because He would keep the oath which He had sworn unto your fathers, hath the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand, and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen, from the hand of Pharaoh king of Egypt. Know therefore that the Lord thy God, He is God, the faithful God, and which keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love Him, and keep His commandments to a thousand generations. Why did God choose Israel? Because He loved them. Because He loved them. And I don't understand that because I read the Bible and I see Israel all the time turning their back away from God, uh, going out doing what God told them not to do, not doing what God told them to do, Raising up idols and statues and, and high places and groves and worshiping Baal and Asheroth and all the fornication and adultery and the drunkenness that they had. And you would think God would say, I've, I've had it with you. I hate you. But God, the Bible says, loved Jacob before Jacob was ever even born. He loved him. And you know what? I know a little bit about what that's like. About loving a child before it's even born. Okay? And before you and I ever came on the scene, God loved us. Okay? Jeremiah 31, turn there. How long does God love us? How long does God love us? You know, you might know people that one day they're your friend, the next day they don't like you anymore. And then two days later, they're your friend again. Three days after that, they don't like you anymore. The next minute, they like you again, and so on. And so you might know people like, or you might be somebody. You might be that person. But how long does God love us? Jeremiah 31, 1. At the same time, said the Lord, I will be the God of all the families of Israel, and they shall be my people. Thus saith the Lord, the people which were left of the sword found grace in the wilderness, even Israel, when I went to cause him to rest. The Lord hath appeared of old unto me, saying, Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. How long does God love us? Everlasting. Does that mean that when we do something God told us not to do, does that mean that He doesn't love us anymore? It does not mean that. I've raised children into adulthood. And if I quit loving them every time they did something wrong. That it never made it to adulthood. I can tell you that. But when they did something wrong. Boy it made me mad. Or it hurt me. But only because I loved them to begin with. And the fact that I didn't throw them out, didn't cast them aside, the fact that I was willing to long suffer with them, still feed them, still clothe them, still tuck them in at night. Still buy them things, candy and soda and whatnot. Still take them on little trips and go camping with them, go swimming with them or whatever. Still do things with them. I do it because I love them. I 
I love my wife. We don't always see eye to eye on everything. And there are sometimes certain days we just don't get along very well. But I love her. I knew a guy, his wife was as mean as a rattlesnake. 